many people have entrusted their decision making to government. Bingo. And uh, many people have also given that decision making to the deity. They create a deity, then they say, he will make the most appropriate decision. Prevent my house from burning down, prevent my children from being killed, and help us uh, along the way. But it's going to take time for people to take on the responsibility of managing this wonderful gift of nature, the earth, water, all the wonderful things we have, topsoil, and we have to take care of the earth. We have to assume responsibility. We have brains, and the brains can be programmed in many different directions. They can go into the abstract region, which has nothing to do with improving our lives. We can invent reasons for nature, or we can say, I don't know how nature works, and hold that in abeyance and try to find out. That's the difference between science and religion. Religion has answers. Many of you the Lord works in strange ways when they can't account for anything. You know, the scientist says, I don't know. Say, what are you going to do about it? He goes into a lab to try to find out. What's the best shape for a boat? What's the best arrangement for sails to get the most effective movement from the wind? He says, I don't know. So he sets up an experiment. An experiment is truth-seeking, but tangibly truth-seeking. But Philosophy and theology, you sit back on an armchair. You say, well, I guess the trees are here to give us oxygen. The science is that the trees are here, they produce oxygen, and that enables us to survive. They're not here for that purpose, because there are many remote islands that have trees without any humans producing oxygen. You know? And there are many tidal waves that go over islands without people on them. Well, so they're not there to punish people. Humans are amazingly anthropomorphic. Terribly so. Oh, yeah. It's all about us. Yeah. yeah it's all My about mother us. used to be that. She used to say, the ant is going home to feed its young. I said, <laughs> how do you know that? Maybe going home to eat its young. You know, like the spiders. They, they mate, then the female eats the male. And I'm not talking about pornography. I'm talking about digesting them. <laughs>